Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Aaron coming to you with a fresh new video. In this video today, you guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to pack for deployment. So I'm going to be showing you what you need to pack in your sea bag, what you need to pack in your uniform bag, and your backpack as well. Some things to bring, some things to not bring, as well as some tips and tricks and things like that to make life on the ship a little bit easier for you. Uh, but first, before we get into the video, I want to give a big thank you to two of my patrons. Actually, my only two patrons, but still. Uh, figured I would do it. I want to give a big thank you to Master Chief and China Labada for uh, being a patron and continuously supporting me and everything I'm doing for you guys. So big shout out to them. So thank you guys for being uh, patrons and supporting me and everything that I do. Uh, does not go unnoticed and I, I greatly appreciate it. I know you guys kind of watch all my live streams, some of my videos and China, I know you Snapchat me on occasion. Um, it'd be a little weird if Master Chief was Snapchatting me and also that would be bad news because, yeah, we can't be buddies, but uh, maybe one day, never know. Uh, but that's all I've really got. Uh, so let's get into it. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. understand one thing really quick because I'm in a temporary holding unit so until I actually leave I'm not gonna pack everything because I'm not out the door yet so I still have to kind of live day by day so I have some clothes and some uniform items that are gonna be out and ready accessible for me if I need them for watch and things like that so just understand this is gonna be mainly a partial seat backpack but this is to just give you the idea so let's get straight into it all right so we got our seat bag right at the top, at the bottom. So one of the things you want to do is you want to get it up straight. What you're going to want to do is kind of hold these parts kind of outward, right? You kind of grab inside and pull. So you're basically, in a sense, turning the sea bag inside out. This is basically what you want to do. Now, one of the cool tricks to doing this is you want to get the bottom portion and you want to kind of square it off make something flat because you want to build a good strong base for the seat bag and you're going to build on top of it that way the entire thing stays strong as you go up and it doesn't lopsite and whatnot so what i do is i usually put the squarest uniform i possibly can at the bottom typically the nwus but for right now i'm going to be using my coveralls so my coveralls are going to be my base so the way i put it in there and you can kind of tell it's already given my sea bag structure, right? Let me focus this camera because this thing is going to drive me crazy. But all right, by doing that, I've already basically given it structure. Now, let's talk about uniforms really quick. So what uniforms do you need? You basically need every pair of uniforms, right? Now, check this out. Out of boot camp, you're going to have like three or four pairs of NWUs. On the ship, you're gonna wear coveralls. You are, you're never gonna to need to really wear NWUs unless you're like on a specific type of watch that demands that you wear those. So I'm gonna bring one pair. Now remember, I'm not gonna pack it because I'm still here where I'm at, so I need these for watch and things like that. So otherwise, I would be packing those right now. Um, so that's one uniform. Now others understand I have a uniform bag specifically. So those are my dress uniforms, my NSUs, things like that. Those are going to be in that other bag. I'm going to cover that bag and what's in those and how to pack that specifically, or at least how I do, which makes packing it make more sense. So let's let's continue building off of this, but we're going to put uniform items. So I try to put the things more near on top that I would need the most. So uniform, not going to really need too much. Remember, going on deployment, so you're going to need really coveralls. But the first thing you're going to do when you get there, once you do your in-dock and all that, you're going to be, you're going to be given... A rack you're gonna be assigned to a rack so you're gonna need to unpack all your stuff so I kind of flipped it a little bit but that's okay you can kind of pack it however you want as long as it makes sense to you but uh, these coveralls are specifically on the bottom because I'm not gonna be using these coveralls on the ship they're gonna give me a specific set of coveralls to use but regardless I'm not gonna get too much into that let's continue building so things you really 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 want to bring the most of is gonna be socks brown shirts, 
and underwear. That, you need to have piles of those. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I have a tenth one. I was told I should probably still have two more. I should have a total of 12 just in these. So I was told 12, 12, 12, but whatever. It, it's whatever's gonna work for you. So let's continue building on this. Let's uh, restructure this a little bit. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. So I'm basically I'm just taking it and I'm kind of just laying it in there. Um, there's really no specific way to pack AC bag. It's just whatever kind of works for you. Generally, what I'll do is I'll do uniforms going like that, and then I'll make them crisscross. So yeah. So we're gonna invert now. Boom. 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 We have a decent solid base. And the reason it's so loppy sided is because there's just so much extra. I haven't really built up to this point yet. So it'll be more of a struggle. I mean, nothing is stopping me from honestly going like that. I just, I have so much extra because when, when you build it up to this point, it's kind of a hassle to pull up. But yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. But so far, we got pretty decent base. I'll let you kind of look in there if I can. Not really like, oh. it's, it's just decent. So it's gonna be a little hard to fill in, but I'm gonna try my best for you guys, just to give you guys a general idea. So what I'm packing now is port clothes, I guess. Um, not really port clothes, so for port, you want to bring about between two to four sets of clothes to change into. You also want to bring some clothes to just basically like live in. Uh, unless you want to just be living in like a PT uniform. But yeah, it's, it's pretty much that. I got a decent. All right. So I need to fill in some stuff in here. So what I can do is I'm going to grab two white shirts for my like NSUs, my dress whites or blues if needed. That's what these are for. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to pack them in sideways. And you'll see why I'm gonna do that here in a second. It kind of supports better and it fills in. You can see where this is like kind of flattish. This is more snug. So you, you need to pack things in kind of sideways to fill in those little gaps. All right, now understand what I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna do this now because I have other stuff in my drawers that I'm, that I'm actually working with. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the socks because I have other socks I'll pack in later. So I'll have socks more readily available to me because socks are going to be a hot item that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go through a lot of socks. But right now, I can actually do this. I can go in and I can start filling in my sides with socks. So a lot of these are uniform socks, but also regular socks to wear. So you want to build a strong base, and then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of reinforce the base. This is what I do. You'll see here in a second. You can kind of see how it's more stable now. Like this isn't so flimsical. It'll basically kind of what I've done is I've done a square and then kind of like a circle and wedged in between the square with the circle, just out of socks. And now look, it stands up on its own. So literally, I can just go in. Now I can do my my boxers, my skivvies, briefs, whatever you want to call them. Kind of just go in there and pepper them in there as I please. Again, it's not a full, full pack, but just gonna give you the idea. So, it's pretty good. So now we're gonna do some more uniform items. So I'm gonna pack some of the PT shorts. Again, I'm gonna go along the edges. I'll kind of do some, some clips where I kind of show you guys like in between. But you kind of wanna fill in on the outsides in a sense. So it'll, it'll kind of make sense to you. Sometimes it's a mess, mine's kind of a mess right now, but it's okay. But got a good strong base that's that's what we're looking for 
and then it's just easier to build up from there and you can literally just stack things and just kind of make it neat from there let you guys see what I got going on so far everything's kind of like pulling in but got everything along the edges and then just in the center but that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do we're gonna do a fun item our bathing suit because you do get to swim in the middle of the ocean sometimes they'll drop anchor and you get to like jump off of the ship or the carrier or whatever so that's something to look forward to so we want to kind of have a bathing suit for that and then you're gonna want some towels and whatnot I brought out two towels so I'll do two like this so one flat out like that kind of tuck in the edges and then down the sides as well Do this one a little bit thinner. That way it will kind of work out. There we go. And I also have another towel that I use in the bathroom, so but that's if we go to the beach, like in port, I have so I have that, I have a backup towel in case I'm doing laundry, and then so you always want to have a backup for a backup is basically like what I'm getting at essentially. When the time comes I'm gonna put like my toothpaste and all this other great stuff in there. So go ahead and do that later on as we're shipping out but another thing we can do towards the top is uh if you really need to here i don't know why we would need that but just in case never know shoe shining kit with your stamp kit you can go in there doesn't really got to go a specific way and then some balloons and then some other uniform items i typically put the hats up here the top so they don't get screwed up and then uh, one of my last items uh, some LED lights so what you do with these is uh, in your rack you lift your rack up and you have little compartments to put stuff in right so at night instead of turning on like the light and the birthing or whatever to like wake everybody up or using your phone light you lift up your rack and you just go in there and you just press these buttons they have velcro or whatever so they stick on top of the rack so you can go in there, whatever compartment you need, you just hit that light and it'll light up your little space. So it's a cool thing to have. Obviously this is only like, like I said, partial sea bag. So this is like half of a sea bag, <laughs> not even. Oh my gosh, it's got so much room. Holy crap. But yeah, so you get, a lot of people don't really know how to do this. So I'll show you all this. So what you're gonna do, Take this, this is your base. It's gonna go across, it's gonna go through, and then either one of the sides will go through first. And then the last one. And then you're gonna have all these things kind of through, with your little hook. And then you just go right through and then just lock it. And also you use this and you attach it to and it helps you out when you're carrying it. But you wanna bring several locks to the ship. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of go over what I got in my backpack so far. It's not really like a whole lot of stuff, but more pencils and stuff than anything. I got some pens. It's pretty much that. Keep under, keep under, uh, keep in mind, I do have like a, a big water bottle and then like a, a coffee mug that I'm gonna be taking to the ship as well. So like I said, a lot of stuff is kinda of un unaccounted for, so. It's kind of the stuff I'm kind of using almost on a daily basis or a weekly basis until I actually leave. But yeah, I got some envelopes, address books, some picture books. You can't really see them, they're hidden. I have a little pencil box that uh, my work mom from the prison I worked at sent me. Miss her, love her. Uh, also my address book, I got her letter uh, from like the, you know, you join the Navy type deal. Thank you, love you, miss you, this type stuff. Um, Cool thing about these backpacks you're issued in boot camp. Um, they freaking expand. Like they're they're just ridiculous. Like mine's open right now. Like this is just extra space that I just gave myself just from opening it. So yeah, it's, it's just it's it's freaking awesome. Uh, they they really hook us up. I won't let me get to boot camp now. And here I got my sleeping bag. I got some shoes to shower with because the floor is nasty in the ship everybody stands there whatever i also got a pillow and uh it's, it's pretty much it so when it comes time i'll throw the pillow with the pillow sheets in here the pillowcases whatever you want to call them and that's it
it's a wrap for that. And uh, when it comes time, I'll be locking this. Like I said, you're gonna lock all your stuff up. All right, so let's look at the, the uniform bag, right? So I have everything in order of how much I would use. So for instance, the first thing I pull out, I'm more likely to use than anything else, right? So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is gonna be, let's see if I can actually pull out the hanger as well. So it's gonna be my my jacket. So I can use I can use this jacket for my type threes, which are the NWUs, the little camos, green camos. I can also use this with my coveralls, which I'll be wearing. So if I go somewhere where it's cold or I go somewhere where it's raining, I have this easily accessible. Sometimes in the ship it's cold, sometimes it's really, really hot. It just depends. So right after this, uh, here, we'll just we'll kind of just do this. So right after this, we have obviously the peanut butters. You know, I have the pants on there. The pants also have the belt. Um, so right after that, I have the Eisenhower, which is the, uh, you can't really see it. It's this one you see the RDCs at bootcamp wearing. You can't really see it a whole lot, but it, it's the overcoat that they wear for the the NSUs. It's the jacket for that uniform. So if it gets cold while I'm in that uniform, boom, I have that. Um, after that, I have, like, I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but I have, you can kind of see the yellow. I have the navy jumpsuit, sweatsuit, whatever you want to call it for working out. Now, there's a lot of things I don't have in there right now. I don't have my dress blues in here. My dress whites are gonna stay out because we just changed the dress whites. So I'm gonna here pretty soon get my ribbons on that and whatnot. And then I also have some other things that I'm using here where I'm at. Because sometimes it rains, sometimes it's cold, the weather here's a little bipolar. But so I have I have a light jacket out and then I have like a big jacket out, as well as uh, both of those dress uniforms. I also do something else for this bag which this is just a me thing. You don't have to do this, but this is a me thing. So in here, I will put the cover for that uniform. I'll also put my extra ribbons and the blue things, which you'll, hopefully you will be smart enough to buy in boot camp. That helps me space everything out of my uniform. I have these, which make you like, it, it just makes your ribbons look a lot better. Some extra belt buckles. I have extra uh, belts in here. Just uniform items specific for these. Um, I got my beanie with my AO thingy on it. I got a bunch of other stuff. My white belt. I also got the boot straps, whatever you want to call them. Uh, blossom bands, boot bands, as the Marines call it. I also got these in here for the uniform so the shirt stays. And then I got the dress socks specific for that uniform. And then I have the regular beanie and that's pretty much it. Just regular stuff. I got some extra ones in case. Like I said, extras, extras, extras just in case. And then more uniform socks, socks specific for those uniforms. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now remember, like I said, I, I still got some stuff out and whatnot so like just to show you, I got my, my whites in there. Pretty soon I'll be um, putting my ribbons on there. And uh, I have I have both sets out because depending on when I leave, uh, I'm getting promoted here pretty soon. So I'm going to be putting my two stripes on on my uniforms. So, and then I'll probably have my blues dry cleaned. But yeah, I got my shoes here. Got my little scarf thingy. Got all my little stuff because I'm a little overachiever. Got my cover, my extra cover. I have another cover in there. And then this is just filled with non-essentials. So when I get back, I have stuff to like live in if I so choose to. And then my other two little jackets I was telling you all about for where I'm at because it gets cold sometimes. So I have a nice little thin one. And then I have like a super thick, see if I can, <laughs> raw and uncut. Yeah, so, yeah. Hard placement but yeah that's it and then my orders on standby my toothpaste and some other stuff Un suavecito. and then my towel which is the red one and then some soaps and that's it when I leave all that will get packed 
But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this was helpful um, for any of you that are in A school. I know a lot of people have been watching my videos. I've, I've just recently gotten to A school, so like, you guys are just a little bit behind me. So hopefully this will help you out. You guys can kind of like follow in my footsteps, maybe make your own adjustments, and uh, make your own pathway from there. So, uh, and then for my future sailors, that'll be going to boot camp here shortly. So something to look forward to, something to expect, and uh, I'll be releasing like travel vlog videos. I think tomorrow we're gonna try and do a, a vlog, so that'll be that'll be interesting. So yeah, I'm really really looking forward to doing that. So pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. I'm not really gonna say a whole lot. I know this was a little lengthy video, so if y'all are new to the channel, check out some of the other helpful things I put out there to help teach you guys and train you guys for like Navy boot camp and all sorts of other stuff. I do entertainment stuff as well. And uh, if you guys like what you see, please smash that subscribe button. Uh, big thank you to all of you. We just hit 2,000 subs, so literally insane. I've been able to do that in just a few months. So obviously I'm doing something right, so I'm gonna try and stay on that road and uh, keep trucking along. Uh, me and Chief were talking and she told me like the average the average it takes a person to reach a thousand YouTube subscribers is like 22 months or something ridiculous that's like two years and I did it in just like three or four months so that's like insane well, a little more than that but like I, I really started getting more serious with the YouTube uh, recently so that's just insane so before I wake this guy up anymore I'm gonna I know, I'm a terrible roommate. He'll sleep through anything. He has ear noise-canceling buds. So, 